Hi everybody, Nadja here, as always with content about Unreal Engine, Blender and Notion, tutorials, tools, tips and tricks about 3D art, productivity and more. Today we want to take a look at Layama from Motiva. Uh, it's a really nice tool um, for uh, architectural visualization at most. Um, it's a plugin for 3ds Max, Blender, and Unreal Engine. Today we're gonna take a look at the Unreal Engine side of it. As we can read here, it's um, it's a tool that closes the gap between 360s and VR by transforming your current 3D projects to a pseudo VR web page that allows you. To navigate your scenes, share your concepts, and visualize them in high quality everywhere. So it's a supercharged 3D virtual tour experience. It's really fast and convenient. It creates uh, all the shots needed for your scene and then builds HTML compatible uh, application that can run on any browser and any device. Right now, the price of Layama sits at uh, 180 euros, and I can assure you uh, it's a really nice investment because, as we will see in a minute, um, it's a really convenient, fast plugin and it really saves tons of time and effort for your 3D virtual tours. So, let's dive into it after the break. <laughs> Once you have purchased your license and downloaded the package from the website, you will have this EXE for Windows. As you can see, um, Layama will detect uh, the 3ds Max version installed in the system and also the different uh, Unreal Engine versions installed in the system uh, for the blender version they will they automatically provide you the python script uh, separately uh, just after you download also this exe and uh, after you install it um, you will see if we jump in unreal for example i already uh, enabled the plugin so it's here and you will see this new icon here in the top um, in the top toolbar I already prepared um, a folder uh, for what we're gonna do with Layama uh, I like to keep separated the capture and the tool folder we will go through a couple of steps in order to have our tour ready for um, browser experiences. So I have this uh, small architectural visualization uh, scene. What you have to do is just to uh, place a lot of cameras. So let's uh, see um, how to do it. You can go to cinematic just a regular camera it's it's better in this case because it doesn't have all of those uh, pre-computed uh, settings like the, the cinematic camera so let's use the regular cameras it's easier in this case and uh, the easier thing is to go to the top view and uh, place the cameras wherever you want. Uh, we will see a preview here of the position. And uh, keep in mind that the important part is the the actual posi position, the word position of the, the camera. Let's put it at 170 centimeters. So we have um, an average human eight for the position of the, the camera and then it's just a matter of deciding the different points of the 
of your virtual tour you can add as many cameras as you want depending on as many points you want and you can do uh, you can also play with the, the eight of the cameras uh, like let's say uh, you want a closer look to the to the VC area so in this case you can drop down the, the, the eight of the camera it doesn't matter much the orientation so we can reset it the rotation once we decide that this is a right spot I already did this in this scene because I already worked on this so going on with this process uh, I ended up with a lot of cameras should be around 11 or 12 uh, 14 in this case I guess 15 with the initial one so it's a good practice to name them accordingly it's easier in a later step to um, to find them and recognize the the first camera it doesn't matter the order of the other cameras because during the tour you will jump to one or the other depending on where you click and interact um, in the space so it really doesn't matter um, the main spot for me was the bathroom in this case uh, so I put it less cameras and less spots here in the in, in the bedroom once you placed uh, all of the needed cameras for your scene uh, one step to do before launching the plugin is to uh, jump uh, for a second to the console command you will see here keep in mind this is the first release is the first version of the pl plugin there are still things to fix but uh, overall it's a really stable and really nice plugin and something we have to do here in the console command panel it's to disable the LODs for the scene before launching the plugin uh, at least this is the workaround I found right now because for some reasons when I launch the Layama plugin and it starts capturing the 360s the quality of the scene is decreased um, the quality of the meshes it's like going to the lowest LOD available so we can just uh, type LODs in the console command force LOD zero and this should fix our problem in this case let's open the Layama plugin um, panel and let's see the options we have for now so we can um, ignore the foliage or not ignore the foliage depending on our scene the plugin does not just take uh, 360 pictures but creates a low poly mesh version of the scene in order to have some collisions uh, while interacting with the scene and uh, in order to uh, let the system know about where to go and where the user clicks in the viewport so we can ignore foliage for this kind of step and then we can say to use the best uh, quality settings for the scene while taking the shots or keeping the ex existing settings we already have in the scene and then we can decide what to do after the um, exporting is done and complete so usually I leave this by default and the Layama editor will open automatically and then we can decide where to save our Layama file and all the needed files for the um, virtual tool creation so let's say we want to go to Layama capture and in this tutorial folder I already prepared the capture folder for this step 
So we are ready to go. The plugin will automatically create a 360 view for any camera in the scene. So keep in mind that um, if you have already cameras in the scene, they are also taken into account. In a later step, we'll, you will decide which camera to use in the virtual tour. So you can also keep other cameras and delete them later from the virtual tour. Click export and we will jump to the Layama side of things. So the Layama exporting just finished and we are presented with the, this panel. Uh, where we can specify um, a web title. So, our awesome tool. A description. We can load a logo for the loading screen and another different one for the viewport. So, let's jump again in the Layama Capture Tutorials. And we have the loading logo and the watermark during the uh, during the tour. Here we can specify, as I told you, the first camera from where the tour starts, and then we will see listed all the other cameras. And this, it's okay to leave it as default, but um, you have different option for the um, meshes evaluation so it could be a bit more um, precise uh, detecting your interaction with the scene but uh, usually by default it's uh, working pretty good and the poly count is also referring to the um, quality of the generated mesh for the collisions but um, also this one it's pretty good by default we have this panel for manual scene definition and here we can define delete and uh, change um, different settings for um, different cameras and then we just click export before the process starts we will choose the right folder and this time it's the tour folder i already created and let's go the process just finished as you can see we are prompted with this um, message as stated here we will have to upload our uh, virtual tour to um, a web page because locally it doesn't work the browser uh, will not allow you to test locally the application this is the completed uh, tour so we will have different icons for different languages already automatically created our logos we decided earlier and all we need for the virtual tour uh, it's completely unrelated to the um, other captured images we uh, created previously from unreal so what we need to upload, it's just the tour created in the second step we just finished. And let's jump to FileZilla, upload everything to the website and see how it works. The FTP upload just finished. So let's go to the web page. Loading screen, as we decided, the logo is there. Let me go full screen and hide my overlay so we can better see what's going on the watermark logo we decided it's in the bottom right corner but we can specify in the app to place it elsewhere we can move around look around in the scene and clicking with the generated mesh we are able to um, move and decide where to jump in the interior something we can uh, 
decide in uh, Unreal directly is the exposure of the different cameras. So let's see if we uh, jump here close to this uh, light, um, you can see that the exposure is too low here to see correctly the scene. And if we jump away from the light, the exposure goes back to normal. Um, so we can uh, also specify the exposure for any single camera in Unreal and it will be kept. Let's move around. We can um, move here, whatever we want. We can zoom and this is it. Um, it's a really nice way for architectural visualization in order to have um, revisions, comments and uh, interact in a better way with clients. Uh, it's a lot better than um, screenshots from the editor uh, in a reel and um, I find it really really nice. It took 10 minutes roughly to have our um, app working online uh, from the capturing the different um, cameras to the HTML app creation to the FTP upload, um, 10 minutes for 15 different views and uh, a fully functional uh, web app. It's amazing. They're really doing an awesome job. I know a lot of uh, improvements are coming along the way and they're working really, really well and really fast on it. So let's keep an eye on it. Uh, take a look at it for the price it has. It's a really, really nice addition to our arsenal of tools for architectural visualization. If you like the content, please subscribe, give a like and click the bell icon below. Uh, it really helps me to push even more, giving you more content about 3D art and productivity. Um, thanks again. This was Layama by Motiva. Awesome tool. Give it a go. Take a look at it and uh, see you the next one.